Good day everyone. We will implement a SQL Server agent job that will execute only on always on primary replica. Let's get started. I'll be using this particular environment for this video. We have three replicas JBS AG1, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 on an availability group called JBS AG. This uh, availability group JBS AG will have three databases added to it. Databases are JBS Wiki, JBDB, and Arc Reactor. And uh, this uh, availability group will have a listener called JBS APP. This availability group will use an underlying Windows cluster, JBS Wiki cluster. JBS AG1, JBS AG2, and JBS AG3 is configured using uh, synchronous commit. Let's uh, get to um, the SSMS and then look at the uh, availability group dashboard. So if you look at the dashboard here, we are able to see that uh, we have three replicas as uh, updated earlier, JBS AG1, JBS AG2, and JBS AG3. And all the three replicas have an availability mode of synchronous commit. And then the failover mode for JBS AG1 and AG2 is automatic. And for JBS AG3, it is manual. So now what I'm going to do is like, I'm uh, going to uh, execute this insert statement on uh, JBS AG1, which is your primary replica. If I execute it, uh, what I'm able to see is like, the insert is uh, completed fine without any issue. So even though the context here is master, I'm doing an uh, insert. Uh, basically what I'm doing is like, I'm inserting this particular row on the database JBS Wiki. The schema name is DBO and table name is table one. So this is where I'm doing the insert. Let me do the insert one more time. And this is working fine. Let's uh, connect uh, this uh, query window to uh, one of the secondary and let's connect to JBS AG2. And if you try executing this query here, what we'll see is like we are getting a uh, uh, message stating like the target database JBS Wiki is participating in an availability group and is currently not accessible for queries. Either data movement is suspended or the availability replica is not enabled for a read access. To allow read only access to this and the other database in availability group, enable read access to one or more secondary availability replica in the group. So it basically tells like um, uh, we are not able to perform an insert on uh, availability group secondary because it is basically going to be a read replica. So there is no way we will be able to perform this insert on a secondary replica. If I run the same query on JBS AG3 as well, which is another secondary, we will get the same error. So what happens is like any uh, write queries like insert, update, or delete, it can happen only on the primary replica. But as far as select queries are concerned, it can happen on the primary replica or on the secondary replica. So let's consider we have a requirement which requires um, this insert statement to uh, execute uh, as an SQL server agent job and this has to run every one minute okay and now what happens is like as long as um, we create an SQL agent job with this insert statement everything works fine as far as uh, uh, this job is uh, executing on the primary replica. But what will happen if uh, uh, this particular replica JBS AG1 becomes a secondary? Because if you see, uh, we have this three replica and JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 are uh, uh, having an um, automatic failover scenario wherein um, the availability mode is also set to uh, uh, synchronous and also the uh, failover uh, is automatic here. So there is, a, there is a high possibility that JBS AG1 one can become a secondary anytime. So in case if that happens, this SQL agent job will basically fail stating like uh, um, you cannot insert data into an uh, read only uh, database when JBS AG1 becomes um, the secondary. So what we can do is like we can create a, um, a query which can uh, basically check whether uh, 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 this query, the, whether the query that is running on the replica is primary or secondary. And if it finds like if it is going to be primary, that is when this um, uh, insert statement, that is the business logic here is basically the insert statement will get executed. So what we'll do is like, let's create an uh, a TSQL query. So this is the query that I'll be using. So if you see here, I'm uh, basically um, uh, declaring a variable called ag name and that basically holds the uh, availability group name 
and then I'm basically um, uh, querying um, uh, DMV sys dot DM underscore HADR underscore availability replica underscore states and uh, joining it with uh, sys dot availability group and then basically checking um, the role for uh, this particular uh, AG and uh, when I do that uh, it basically gives you the information stating like whether this is a um, uh, primary replica or the secondary replica so here in this case what I'm going to do is like I'm going to put that particular insert statement here or else I will uh, put that first and then uh, let the message uh, uh, get printed after that. So in this case, what will happen is like whenever this particular um, uh, um, query that is running on the replica, uh, if that replica is going to be primary, then what will happen is like this insert statement will go through. That is, it will get executed. If this query is executed on a secondary replica, then what will happen is like it will just uh, print this message stating like um, this is not a primary replica for this availability group and then just exits. So let's uh, test it out. So right now I am on JBS AG1 which is your primary replica. So if we execute this what we are able to see is like the insert basically uh, bent um, um, uh, forward and then we are getting this message which basically tells like JBS AG1 is primary replica for availability group JBS AG. So now let's consider someone uh, uh, misspelled this availability group. Yep. So if I um, uh, let, let's consider, I'm just putting it as JBS AG1. So if I execute it, it basically tells like JBS AG1 is not primary replica for the availability group. Yep. So uh, even though there is a uh, uh, misspelling there, what happens is like uh, there will be no harm. It basically tells like that particular availability group is not uh, on the primary replica. So now what we'll do is like we will connect to uh, one of the secondary replica this time we will connect to JBS AG3 and then let's execute this query and then see if we are getting an uh, error here uh, this is basically like um, uh, same query as uh, the previous one so if I run here what I'm seeing is like um, uh, this insert statement is not getting executed instead it is telling like uh, JBS AG3 is not a primary replica for availability group JBS AG so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to create this as an uh, SQL server agent job and uh, I will put this particular uh, query into that so what I'll do is like um, um, uh, I will put it as um, uh, DBA underscore job it's just a job name so you can give whatever you want but in my case I'm going to give it as a DBA job underscore insert and then what I'll do is like I'll go to the steps and then click on new and then I will put it as uh, insert underscore STMT and then I'm going to um, have the database as master because my insert has got the database context here. So I will go to advanced here and then I will uh, 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 select the on success action as uh, quit the job reporting success. So now if I um, look at this, this is the query. So I'm going to parse it. Everything looks good. So let's click on OK. And then what I'll do is like I will schedule this job to run um, uh, every one minute and that's the requirement. So what I'll do is like I will do it as uh, occurs every One minute and it is going to be continuous in a day So I'm going to click on ok and then I'm going to create this um, a job. So the job is created now Let's go to the job. Let's refresh it So here is the job. So what I'll do is like I'll create the same job on uh, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3 as well. So you don't know like which replica can become uh, the primary uh, as well as JBS AG1 and AG2 is concerned automatic failover is concerned and in case a disaster recovery is required then uh, we can fail it over to JBS AG3 as well. So first I'm going to create it on JBS AG2 which is done. Now I will connect to uh, JBS AG3 and then I will execute there as well. So the job is uh, uh, created there as well. So what we'll do is like let's give like a couple of minutes and then uh, let's look at uh, uh, the job execution on each of these servers and then see if uh, we are able to achieve uh, what we really require. That is uh, uh, the job will have to basically insert the data only on the primary replica. Let's give it a couple of more minutes and then we will check the SQL agent job history and then see how the job is performing. Okay, so let's look at the job history here. Let's go to the job activity monitor. 
and then look at the job history yeah and what you are able to see is like the job is completing fine there is no issues in that so let's click on that and then what we can see here is that it is basically telling like a jbs ag1 is the primary replica for the availability group that means like the insert went through fine on this particular replica which is jbs ag1 now what we'll do is like we'll do the same thing on jbs ag2 as well and then see what is the message we have for that job so if you go to jbs ag2 we can see that the job is completed fine here as well here we are seeing like uh, it basically tells like jbs ag2 is not a primary replica so basically uh, we do not have this job uh, uh, executing that insert statement and this is going to be same for uh, jbs ag3 as well let's look at that let's go to the agent and uh, let's look at it so if you see here we are able to see that uh, the job is completed fine here but if we see here the output here is basically going to be that this is a secondary replica so if you see here jbs ag3 is not primary replica for availability group jbs ag now what we'll do is like we will fail over uh, the availability group from JBS AG1 to JBS AG2 and then see if this insert statement is happening fine on JBS AG2 so let's click on finish the failover is happening now let's wait for the failover to complete and then uh, give maybe like uh, uh, two minutes and then see like what is happening as the job is concerned so it is refreshed now let's wait for uh, another two minutes and then look at the job history okay now let's look at uh, jbs ag1 if you see here uh, time is 3 52 pm so let's look at the history here uh, and uh, if you see here uh, the job completed around 3 52 pm now if you see here uh, it is basically telling like as soon as we did the failover it is clearly telling like jbs ag1 is not primary replica for availability group so that way the insert statement was not tried in uh, jbs ag1 and now let's uh, uh, check the um, uh, history for the job in uh, jbs ag2 and if you see here this time we are seeing that uh, uh, jbs ag2 is primary replica hence the insert happened fine on this particular replica so this is how we basically um, uh, create a business logic or a tsql query uh, which will uh, ensure that the required query that needs to be executed on the primary replica uh, can be performed likewise using this particular query thanks for watching have a great day Chai.